Hello everyone and welcome to this week's IRQTC Quick Tips video. I'm Brian Traskos, the founder and director of the Institute for Rehabilitative Qigong in Tai Chi. Welcome back. If you saw last week's quick tip, we started talking about one of the hidden reasons why we get weaker as we get older. And we talked about is it weakness actually that happens or is it stiffness? That happens. So we like to again say that people don't get weaker as they get older, they get stiffer as they get older, and the stiffness engenders the weakness. So last week we talked about balance of muscles around joints. This week we're going to give us a little conceptualization of how this actually works. How does stiffness become weakness for us? Well, if we can think about it like this. We all, I think we all might understand in some way, shape, or form that we have to have some level of muscle tonus in our bodies to keep us standing up in gravity. In order for me to stand here, in other words, I have to have some muscles working in my body. If I didn't have any muscles working in my body, I'd be just a puddle on the floor. So I have to have something working as I stand here. And we call that our minimal resting tension, just for the sake, let's call it that. So if we look at just a, a diagram, we'll make a chart really quick. Let's move that over so we can see it. Let's say, let's draw a line down here and say that is, that's zero tension. If I had zero tension in my body, let me draw, draw that a little bigger, zero tension. If I had zero tension in my body, then again, I would just be a puddle on the floor. We call this flaccid musculature down here. And this can happen uh, after neurological trauma, injuries, those kinds of things. Again, if I had like a, a minimal resting tension level, let's just say, the just for the sake of talking about this, let's say the minimum amount of uh, force that I need to have in my musculature in order to keep me standing up is 10. Let's just throw that number out there. Let's just say that 10 is my minimal resting tension, okay? Minimal resting tension. If I had nine, I'd fall down, okay? I need to have at least 10. Now, again, on our muscular level, I think we also probably recognize that our muscles can only handle so much strain at any given time. And if we strain a muscle beyond its capabilities, it will tear or break. Let's say for and each of us is a little bit different, but let's just talk about our body specifically. In our bodies, your body, my body, let's just say the number at which the muscle would tear or break or, or strain is 100. Let's just say if we have more than 100 pounds of force or kilograms or foot pounds or horsepower, whatever you want to consider, that doesn't really matter so much. But if we said if 100 force units went through the musculature, then it would tear or rip. So Let's go up here and say at 100, we'd have injury. Okay, beyond 100, we'd have injury. Now, if we look at the difference between those two muscles, between our, those two levels, I might say, 10 being our minimal resting tension and 100 being the maximum we can actually produce in a muscle before it tears itself, then we would look at the difference and we would get a difference of... 90. And that becomes what we call our functional strength. All right, so our functional strength is 90 because that's the difference between these two things. Now, what if our resting tension, what if our minimal resting tension was higher than 10? What if we were carrying around more tension in our body than we actually needed to use at any given time? Now, what would this look like? Well, how many of us have gotten out of bed in the morning and we get out of bed and we're like, oh my God, I'm so tight. My back is so stiff. You can barely bend over and, uh, and tie your shoes or put your socks on because the muscles in your back are so tight. 
Well, why, why do they need to be that tight? They're tighter than they need to be to actually stand up. And I like to kind of joke about this too, but it's absolutely true. As a manual worker and a massage therapist, when, sometimes I've had people come into the clinic and they lay down on the table and their backs are like rocks. You can barely even compress any tissue, and any pressure at all into them. And they're working way harder than they have to because they're lying down. The gravity isn't even acting on them, so why are they carrying that much tension? That's what we call reflexive muscle tension, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in our next training, but for now, let's consider that reflexive tension does exist in our body, and it's higher than the 10 that is the minimum required to do that. So what if, what if now our minimum resting tension was no longer 10, but all of a sudden it was... 50. And that doesn't happen all of a sudden, by the way, always. It can happen over time. But if our resting tension now is 50 and our breaking point is still 100, our breaking point doesn't change, but the resting tension comes up, now we have a difference in our functional muscle strength of what? 50. So instead of 90 units of force available to us, now we only have 50 units of force available to us. And this elevation in that minimal resting tension makes us go from being relaxed to being carrying around tension all the time. And now we don't have as much functional strength available to us to do whatever task we're going to do before we injure ourselves. So that's just a simple way to conceptualize how Resting tension in our body affects our functional strength. The stiffer we are, the weaker we become. So thanks so much for joining me again this week for our IRQTC Quick Tips video on weakness and strength correlations. I, uh, I really appreciate spending this time with you and thanks for joining in. Next week, we carry on this conversation and we work towards creating some solutions to this common problem. Remember to take care of yourselves, check in, make sure everything with you and your life is doing great because life becomes the meaning that you give it. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye.